This is Classic FM. I think it's important for many, many reasons. But the first most important one is that we as a body of people, perhaps 65 of us, depends what pieces we're playing, perhaps 60, we go into the middle of their space. Mm. And the concept of needing to bus children into the Bridgewater Hall or whichever concert hall it is in the world is, of course, very important. They must come and realise that their hall is for them. It's not just for Granny. Yes. But for us all to get in a bus and go to them and for them to come into school and find this whole outfit there that they've never seen before, they can never say they don't know what a symphony orchestra is. That's the first thing. That's the least of it. We play the best music we have at our fingertips. We don't play... Star Wars or, or, you know, Harry Potter, um, which is, they're fine, but it's not what we should be doing at that moment. And we play whatever we have. And I remember taking the orchestra to a very, very deprived area of Manchester and playing the Flying Dutchman overture and telling them about the story, about this man who, who could not get off his ship for seven years. And he met a woman who he loved deeply. And in the end... She felt the only way forward to help him was to kill herself, to throw herself off the cliffs. And they were crying. And I said, listen to the waves, listen to the music, you know, going up and down to portray the stormy seas. And they were completely hooked because of the story. Mm. And I think music does tell great stories. You just have to get the children listening with their imagination engaged. And a thunderstorm started as we did this concert. And the water started seeping in under the doors because the school was in a terrible state and of course the the water came into the hall and as it got nearer and nearer to the orchestra they started turning round and looking to see whether it was coming underneath their feet and the children oh. loved that they said i couldn't believe it they still played when they were turning round to check the water <laughs> but what a wonderful experience for them and something that they wouldn't forget absolutely I mean, we must do this. We must go on doing it. The three schools we last went into were huge new schools built with labour money. Yes. Um, huge. Yeah. And the, the, the pupils and the atmosphere in the different schools were so different how they all behaved. You know, some were very, very well behaved and quiet. Others were very rowdy, you know. Yeah. And I think what we do, I mean, I always get one or two of them to come up and conduct the orchestra. Oh, fantastic. You see, which is as soon as well, you've done one, them. everybody wants to do it. <laughs> yes. Because they see that it's fun. And my orchestra is so wonderful about following. So we make them do a waltz by Tchaikovsky. And, of course, if they slow down, the orchestra just gets slower and slower and slower. <laughs> all together. And I said, look, keep dancing. Keep, you know, I start them off. Yes. And I said, keep dancing. So, they, of course, they go too fast and the thing gets wildly out of control. <laughs> but it's incredible for them to feel the power of rhythm. Exactly. Fascinating, too. And, I, again something that they'll want to come back and experience again because you've planted that seed, that exciting seed in early their minds. Early enough, yes. early enough, before yes. other things get in the way. Yeah. This is Classic FM.